Hey, what is going on everybody? Electric Husky here. So I am bringing you an awesome video. Um, I know that this is, it's actually during the time when I would normally be posting the um, videos for my streams. Fortunately, the stream hasn't happened yet because of the fact that um, my classes started on Wednesday. So unfortunately, it's going to be a little bit off, um, but I will be getting back to a regular schedule of the stream and then posting the videos. Um, but I figured keep you guys, help keep you guys entertained. We have here a Burning Shadows Elite Trainer Box. Um, this is going to be awesome. Come on, focus. Focus in. I know you are doing it earlier. It keeps not wanting to focus on it. Anyway, um, so this has... The eight packs that we are looking for, um, sleeves featuring Necrozma, a 45 Pokemon TCG energy cards, player's guide to the um, to all that, basically all the regular stuff that it normally has. I like the dice in here. Black is one of my favorite colors, um, so I think this is going to be really cool to have. We're just going to get right into it. Um, let's hope we can get some amazing pulls. Um, I'm hoping for maybe at least one GX from the set we've already got. Um, if you guys haven't checked out the um, Laughing Pikachu pack battle yet, um, check that out in the video I opened up uh, the last of her um, monthly parcels. So, and, and I got an amazing, um, granted it's one of the more popular GXs, but I got a Machamp GX. So, still pretty cool to get. Um, here we have the poster featuring the pack arts. We have Ho Ho, uh, was it Necrozma, Marshadow, and Tapu Fini. So this is actually only the second time I'm opening. I still haven't gotten a booster box of uh, Burning Shadows yet. But here we have let me move this out of the way. We have the guide with all of the cards. Um, Let's see some other some uh, combos that they have in here. So really nice. Um, as again, as I've said before, we did pull the Machamp GX here um, in that video where we got only like we got two packs of Burning Shadows and we got a ton of um, dollar store packs, which is really cool. I think um, I also ended up getting um, what was that? Steelix EX. So that was also really fun to get out of a dollar store pack, which is amazing in and of itself because those have um, terrible pull rates normally just because you only get three cards. Let's get everything out of here. There's like another one for you. All right. So there's the code. This is the code card for the box. I'm going to keep this and use it for myself. Um, just because I can always use the sleeves and whatnot on the TCGO. Um, we have here are the uh, deck dividers with Necrozma on them. Really cool. Um, here are the sleeves. Oh, those are just looking so awesome. Love that. And then we obviously have the dice. With the burning uh, the burning shadows logo as the um, as the number one spot, and then the po uh, poison burn and the GX counters, and then the energy. Nothing special about that. And we have our eight packs. Two, four, six, eight. Yep. All right. Um, I think I'm gonna try. Which pack is going to have the best pulls? I think I'm feeling like maybe this Ho-Oh pack. So we're going to put this at the very end. Maybe we can, maybe that will have the amazing pulls. We're just going to get started. Um, again, my whole goal for this, 1GX. Whether it's a full art, hyper rare, regular, whatever. That would be absolutely amazing if we did pull full art from this. Um, but, I mean... Even if not, even if we just get a regular GX, that wouldn't be too bad. Four. And I'm actually going to start doing, I think, yes. So I'm just going to start setting, because I normally, when I get, um, uh, what I'm trying to do is, I, after I get done with the video, I always end up sorting the um, 
every all the cards and everything, putting them away. And it's just easier if I take out the energies now. So we're starting out with a Wobbuffet, if it wants to focus. Come on, Wobbuffet, focus. Trying to get it to focus now. Don't knock the camera over. There we go. All right, so we've got Wobbuffet, Wick, Seviper, Dupider, Inkay. Why did you go out of focus? Inkay, Ralts, Crab Roller, Sneasel, and another a reverse Inkay. That's actually really cool. Why are you going out of focus so badly all of a sudden? I don't know if maybe maybe it's because I don't I don't quite know. It's not working. Okay, maybe we just hold it farther back. A reverse hollow ink and a regular scolipede. So nothing too fancy from that. Alright. I'm also gonna be uh, starting to test out some newer stuff with the videos. Um I'm going to try and what I really want to do is I want to get the standard, the camera size or the uh, webcam size down. Also, I would love to hear you guys' opinions, what you think, um, if you guys want the face cam still, um, and if not, um, what you guys think. Also, if you'd rather have me calling out the cards, just talking, um, trying to get better with just talking about anything during these, if I have anything to say, um, but yeah. Just let me know what you guys think of everything. So we are, we have Mount Lanakila, Kiawe. Oh, let me keep. Oh, actually, let me really quickly. So we have all those, the rare and the reverse hollow. Okay. So we have that Mount uh, Kin or Lanakila. We have Kiwa Kiawe. I don't know why it's having such a hard time. Kiawe, Simisir. This is something that's always interesting. All everyone hates the monkeys. Um, I just I don't necessarily have a problem with them. I don't necessarily like them. Um, but I think I'm actually partial because um, my Chinese zodiac is actually the monkey. So I don't know. Maybe I'm partial to it, but I don't really mind them. Crow gunk, a Pikachu, Panseer, Charmander, a Lola Radita. A reverse hollow dark ride. That's a reverse hollow rare too. So that's actually pretty awesome. Um, I don't don't remember if I don't know if that actually comes in like a, uh, a hollow rare or whatnot. Come on, camera focus. Try setting the manual focus. There we go. Okay, dark ride and a regular rare Alolan nine tails. So nothing too huge, too fancy. Um, I'm actually thinking about with the Alolan Ninetales deck that I started building from just Sun and Moon and Guardians Rising, I might actually switch out some of the Alolan Ninetales uh, GX cards to put the regular rare, um, or the rare Alolan Ninetales from this set in because um, it has an, a really nice effect of being able to prevent damage uh, to this Pokemon by your opponent's Pokemon e GX or EX. So that's actually really useful since most decks are running several uh, GXs or even EXs. Um, there's some that are probably still running EXs in uh, combination with their GXs. So you never know, that could actually really help to block some of theirs. You could use that to kind of set up your other Ninetales. Um, and then with the Manaphy EX that I, I need to get... Um, Free retreat between so that way they don't have to worry about wasting energy to go to move between um so definitely something i'm i'm gonna, I'm gonna think about put doing so we have a semaphore knock towel I, okay yes knock towel electabuzz charmander meryl a hoot hoot rhyhorn ralts a reverse hollow rare zygarde i actually already pulled this um in that video but that's, that's still really cool to get and a regular rare Araquanid. So we're not we're getting some reverse hollow rares, but nothing too special, too fancy yet. Um, no hollow rares either. And if this is telling us anything, that's probably not gonna change very much here. 
So leave a comment down below if, with what you guys are getting. Um, if you're taking the codes, I would love to hear from you guys. Maybe this is just setting up for an amazing last pack uh, from that, that ho o pack. So we have Kirlia, Olivia, Lunatone, Alolan Vulpix, a Wimpod, Togedemaru, Krogunk, Panseer, a Reverse Hollow Tormenting Spray. I think this was actually the other Reverse Hollow I got in those two Burning Shadows packs, which is kind of funny that we get that again. And a regular rare Pissimian. So still nothing too great, too fancy. But hey, we still got four packs, including this one that I have in my hands right now, to go. So this actually could be something with this white. I'm I'm sad that that actually, like, they have it so it ruins the surprise, but you know what? Oh well. All right, so we're going to start this off with a Whirlipede, Guzma, Rimbombi, Cutie Fly, a Lediba, a Lolan Grimer, Riolu, Meowth, a Reverse Hollow Noctile, that is an uncommon, and we have a Tapu Fini GX, that's amazing, that's awesome, so great way to actually, to another great way to start off the um, this series for, because again, this is the first this is only the second time I'm opening up any uh, Burning Shadows. It's always nice to get, to get a sleeve for this right away. Just because I want to protect as much as possible until it gets into the binder. Or a binder when I get one. There it is. There's that Tapu Fini GX. Lovely, lovely card. Just going to set that right in the back there. Alright. On to the next one. And let's see if we can't get something even more amazing. Oh, uh, imagine if we actually pulled a um, full art in this also. That would be awesome. There's that code for you. Okay, so we have a Porygon 2, Weakness Policy, Simisage, a Ralts, Crub Brawler, Sneasel, Venipede, Horsey, a reverse hollow regular Persian. That's pretty cool. That's actually cool that they have both the Alolan and the um, the regulars, which I just realized they have that for uh, Meowth also. And we have a regular rare Beware. It's so not too bad, not too great, but still. Oh, well, here's another white code. So maybe we got something awesome also. And there's the code for you guys. Nothing too bad. I see a little bit of a ding on the top. Um, also, guys, um, I wanted to bring this up with you guys. Maybe you guys can help me make a decision. One of my friends on Instagram, which, by the way, if you guys don't have my, uh, aren't following me on Instagram, go check that out. The, the um, link is in the bullet is down below. It's also Electric Husky TCG. Um, I posted the what I got from the last uh, um, searching for video. For, for the searching for the Ultra Ball um, Seeker Rare. My question to you guys is, one of my friends suggest, or actually offered to sell me his, um, his Seeker Rare Ultra Ball that he pulled. It has just like a little bit of roughing on the very top um, back edge. It's kind of like, like right here, uh, but nothing too bad. The front looks amazing. He showed me pictures of it, um, and I'm just... He's he's actually willing to sell it to me for fifty dollars, which I could potentially have this weekend. My question to you guys: Do you would, do you think I should do that? Um, I really want to have it, but I also love the thrill of trying to find it in the pack. Basically, what that means is that if I were to buy it, I would end the series of searching for the Ultra Ball and move on to either a new one in the Sun and Moon set. Or even potentially a um, a new one in the burn in the rising Guardians Rising, so potentially like the double colorless MG, um, maybe a Tapu Lele um, GX, something like that. Let me know what you guys think in the comments down below. I will also be posting a poll um, over in the iCard um, since I've seen that you can do that. I'm gonna post a poll saying either yes to buy it know to keep the uh the ultra ball series going so if you um if you have an opinion definitely go uh leave leave a vote there 
Also leave a comment if you want to elaborate um, more, if you want to get from more information. Anyway, let's get this, um, see what was in, what is with that white code card. So we have a wishful bata uh, baton, metapod, bodybuilding dumbbells, a lola radita, wimpod, a togedemaru, sock, mudbray, a reverse hollow butterfree, and we have a golisopod GX. So that's another GX in this. That's aw. Oh. So maybe that ho -Oh doesn't have anything, or maybe it does. No, excuse me, guys. Never know. Um, that's awesome. Two GXs in one elite trainer box. And again, I think this is fairly um common. Maybe not. I don't remember which ones. Um, I was watching Pokemon on or uh, yeah, Pokemon Unwrapped when he was doing um. He was doing an opening. I think it was actually the booster box that he did last. And he got Machamp and another one. And he said that it was that they were both fairly common. Um, but that's still, I mean, that's still pretty awesome to get Golisopod GX and Tapu Fini GX. Let's kind of put them next to each other. Hope nothing falls. All right. And let's go with this one. I kind of picked this because if you look at the top also, it's got this weird like miscut to the pack art even. Because normally if you look... Maybe it's not. It's just like because if you look the top part up here, these all the other packs didn't have this line on it. So maybe that means it's got something super special. Let's see. If we get a green code card, then it just means nothing at all. But you never know. Let's see. And it's a white. All right. Let's hope it has something good. And not just a hollow rare. Um, this one looks... Yeah, it's got a little bit of rough on the edge there. I don't know if you guys can really see it. I can see it here. Um, otherwise, it looks amazing, to be honest. All right. And I'm seeing shine, guys. That could be good. I don't know. We'll see. So we've got a Rhydon. Electric. Oofalant. Oddish, Duskull, Esper, a Morlul, Porygon, Meowth Reverse Hollow, and oh, that's awesome! A Galissapod GX full art. That guys, that is crazy. This is an amazing elite. I'm so glad I got this one. Um, I was actually debating on if I should even get it um when i first was because i went to gamestop and i was like eh, maybe maybe i shouldn't and it was just and granted this is a little bit miscut if you look it's got um a little bit more on the left side than on the right side but you know what i like i've said this in past videos and on the top and the bottom i'm not a huge stickler on, stickler on that i'm not sending these to get psa rated um they're going into my personal collection if I happen to pull any more and it's got better, um, then maybe I'll replace it and just look at trading these. But honestly, like, this is absolutely amazing just to pull it and get that. That's already three more GX, uh, three more Ultra Rare cards. I don't need to worry about even trying to find when I want to work on this set some more. <clears throat> but that is amazing. So that's actually the end of this uh, amazing box. So I'm just going to I'll go over these and the reverse rares with you guys. We've got that one, that one, that one, and that one. So we actually got quite a few. Um, so in addition to the Tapu Fini GX, Galissapod GX, and Full Art Galissapod GX, we also got Reverse Hollow Zygarde Rare, right? Yep. Darkrai Reverse Hollow Rare. A Persian Reverse Hollow Rare and a Butterfree Reverse Hollow Rare. So that's pretty amazing, guys. Also, something I wanted to um, ask you guys, and this will there will be another poll, uh, another poll right over in the iCard. So check that out. Um, <clears throat> what do you guys think of me maybe putting like a light music um, in the background for the videos to help for any silent moments that there might be? Um, just because I've seen other YouTubers and they have some music playing, and it is really nice. I just want to see what you guys like um, so I can make my videos the best that I can for you. So let me know. Um, remember, there's there's both of those polls going to be over in the iCard um, along with a the um, 
video from uh, doing the pack battle with uh, in Laughing Pikachu's parcel. Um, but otherwise, thank you for watching, guys. Feel free to subscribe if you're not already subscribed. Hit that notification bell so you guys can get any notifications when I post videos, post messages, whatever. Um, leave a like if you enjoyed the video. Likes always help. Um, always, I'm actually, I've been shooting for a long time just to get 10 likes on a video. So let's try and get 10 likes on this. I mean, come on. We got three GXs. Three guys. Three GXs. That's got to be worth, got to be worth something. Um, so 10 likes is the goal for this video. Um, and let's try to do two, 10 in a week. So I think some of my other videos have hit 10. But those have been after like months and months. Um, and also subscribe with whatever you want to suggest. Um, anything that you have to say. If you got anything from these code cards, I would love to hear that. Um, so anyway, I think that's enough of me talking, guys. I hope you have a great day. This is Electric Husky signing out. I will see you guys in the next video. Bye.